announcing 1.1.1.1, the fastest privacy-first consumer DNS service. Privacy-first. Well, let's explain that a little bit. So DNS is privacy problem. DNS is a old protocol, and like most of the internet in general, it was not designed with your privacy in mind first. It just wasn't a thought. It wasn't a feature. It's not that it was designed to spy on you. It is easily used to spy on you because it just was not designed with privacy in mind. Good distinction there. It's not like it was designed as a spying device, but it turns out it's a really easy one to use as a spying device. DNS censorship, definitely a real problem. But that being said, one of the problems is it passes in the clear. So your ISP can choose to block this. So they bring up Turkey, which Turkey uh, had blocked famously just DNS um, in their country via their providers. So people would spray paint uh, the 8.8, which is the Google's uh, DNS provider. So you could get to services that were blocked, for, such as Twitter. But this is 2018. That was 2014. In 2018, Turkey has already blocked Cloudflare's DNS. So, so much for that. They already are <laughs> pretty much going to block it out of the box. That's any of these countries that uh, really support censorship, they're going to block things. That being said, it's novel. I get what they're doing. Um, but yeah, they're going to get blocked. Building a consumer DNS service. Now, they were talking about different performances. They have some of their performance. We're going to do our own performance tests. Um, I love that they're using 1.1.1.1. It's easy to remember. Uh, and they also have 1.0.0.1. So those are both addresses that they have. They did release on April 1st, but it's not a joke. But it is a public DNS. Now, something kind of cool, and this is more future stuff, they do support DNSSEC, as does Quad9, which is my preferred DNS provider. Um, they do have a very robust reliable network because if you're not familiar with Cloudflare, they're a massive uh, content delivery network and they have presence everywhere. So their, their servers and delivery farm is all over the place. So definitely solid performance you're going to get out of them based on the infrastructure provided they run it right. And these guys are smart, so I have a feeling they're going to run it right. Nice thing is they're also working towards uh, DNS over HTTPS. Now, that is available and limited. I know Google's doing some experimenting with it. I think you can get some plugins for Android for it. Once DNS starts moving there and goes over encrypted connections, that'd be great. For now, DNS does not pass encrypted over. So I'll leave this article so you can read all this and all those details, but let's actually go in here and run the test benchmark. So. While we're running the benchmarks, we'll go over which ones we have. My local DNS, which is 192.168.3.1, uh, does use Quad9. Then we have 1.1.1, which is our Cloudflare DNS. Then we have 8.8.8, .8 which is our Google. And then we have 9.9.9, .9 which is the Quad9, which, like I said, I did a review of before. Uh, I'm happy with Quad9 because they do some filtering in terms of malicious websites. That I didn't notice anything Cloudflare mentioned about malicious website filtering. That being said, here are the results. So obviously local DNS is always going to be really, really fast. Uh, but Cloudflare comes out on top for speed. They, are, they aren't they are lying about the speed here. So their average of 0.01 millisecond for a cache name, 0.045 and 0.025 on the lookups. Pretty impressive. Now, this is going to be subjective and this is going to vary from where you're at. I'm here on Comcast in the Detroit area. The... Um, Difference in speed you're going to see based on different areas, that's going to happen. Now, just so you know, they're using point to presence. So point to presence means 1.1.1 isn't a geographically pinned IP address. So it's not like that server is located in one place. That server, because their content delivery network is so big, they're able to give points of presence wherever it is geographically close. And they have all that listed on there if you want to find out where the closest server to you is. So you're actually able to use this DNS resolver, not just here in Detroit for good speed, but if you're in California, if you're in Europe, if you're in Germany, if you're anywhere that this isn't blocked, they have a point of presence uh, closer to you than one single server, so it doesn't have to traverse as much. And this is the same server, the same methodologies used by the other companies. But we can see when we're looking at the numbers, it is fast, but it's not substantially faster. So uh, Quad9 being uh, coming out on the slowest, I actually ran this twice the first time it came out on uh, above Google, now it came out below Google. You're going to get some of that. Um, you're going to get some speed variations from time to time. As a matter of fact, last time Google uh, resolved all at 100, apparently a couple... Uh, resolutions got dropped. Now, a lot of people go, what about filtering? I have to trust these companies not to filter it. So far, and I know some people said, but that there's government money that went into the Quad 9. So far, I haven't found any website that I went to that didn't resolve. And if you ever did, it's easy enough to go look up with a resolver 
against other DNSs and see what the variations are in the site resolving. No site I've ever tried to go to has not resolved. So that I know of or that I can speak to, I have not seen any sites censored. Um, I haven't had any that failed to resolve. We also don't go to a lot of scam sites and things like that at work. So uh, take that for what it's worth. I don't have the best testing methodology because I don't have a list of questionable domains uh, to see if they filter each one. Feel free to do that on your own time. I just haven't really put any time into that. But this at least gives you an idea. Yes, it's faster. Um, it's good. They claim to keep logs a very brief amount of time, which is great. But like I said, it doesn't necessarily dramatically increase your security or invisibility on the internet, but it is still going to be better than using your ISP's internet. I'm still going to stick with um, using DNS from Quad9 because they make me happy and they at least seem to have some research into uh, malicious websites. So uh, any extra layer of protection there is a great thing, but you do have some options out there. You can give them a try. Seems pretty fast and it, they are at least working towards this whole uh, DNS over HTTPS. I know there's some availability with some plugins for that right now. That's great because that would actually hide some of your DNS. Uh, but the reality is for now, most of the devices on my network don't have that, don't support that. They at least do support DNSSEC. And by the way, Cloudflare and Quad9 both support DNSSEC. I think Google does as well. So if you like the content here, like and subscribe. Those are my thoughts on the 1.1.1. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess people are more excited than me about it, um, but it works. I tested it. I benchmarked it. Uh, go ahead and download Steve Gibson's uh, DNS benchmark tool. Benchmark it yourself. See if it's faster than what you're currently using. And if it is, switch to it. You might, you might like the faster resolve times you get on there. All right. Thanks. Uh, if you like the content here, like and subscribe.